Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, give that video, um, oh, I can't even talk. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that button because it's going to be a lot of videos. So I'm just going to do this real quick because I know a lot of people are curious to know what I buy now. Um, that things are a lot different. I mean, since I'm working now, yeah, things are just not the same like it used to be. I got some uh, Sasson Tropical because we're boycotting Goya. I have a gallon of milk. I got this green machine juice. I got some hot sauce because we ran out of it. I got these mini um, mozzarella thingies to snack on. I got two creamers. What is French vanilla? And then I got vanilla cannoli cream latte. Um, I also wanted to try this Southwest salsa. Um, I got two um, non-dairy milk. Um, their oat milk and then this is the one that is extra creamy um, and that's because I can't have dairy um, I also got um, Kerrygold Doubler's Cheese which is my favorite I got two packs of Swiss cheese because that's what the kids prefer I also got um, two things of these um, sweet lemon bologna because that's what the kids like and then I also got Columbia dark roast coffee I got two things of preservatives, which is like raspberry and strawberry. That's so that I can drink wine. I got some snacks. I got pecan rolls, candy, cakes. If you're from the PA area, you know what these cakes is about. <laughs> um, I also got three things of pork sausage ground up so I can make um, sausage and gravy for breakfast tomorrow. Um, I got this cherry wood smoke bacon that's thick cut. I got two of these... Um, what are they? New York strip steaks. I also got two things of the mussels that the kids like. Two packs of hot dogs. I got a bag of green beans. This is what they prefer over the can, so I'm just gonna buy it. I also got two things of cucumbers. These little cucumber packs from BJ's. I also got um, two bags of these granola things for the kids to eat as well. And then I also got this um, chicken, the bouillon cubes, we ran out, but instead of getting the cubes, I just got the powder. I got a case of the Frappuccino, and then a case of the Capri Suns for the kids to drink. And then, besides the Capri Suns, I also buy them this Fruto 2 juice water, slash juice water. And that's so that they, they can stop drinking juice or soda, so they have some water. I guess it's to kind of replace the, the faucet water. <laughs> Um, I got six loaves of bread. You guys already know I go to multiple stores to go shopping. So I went to BJ's for a majority of it. And then I got went to Save a Lot to get the sausages. And then I went to Weiss to get majority of the stuff here. Like the Tasty Cakes and, some, and the creamer and stuff. And then the reason why I do that is because it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper for me. So I got six loaves of bread. That will last us about a week and a half. That is not going to last us long. I got this already made bacon. For Leon, I didn't buy bacon and I didn't buy no sausages this month. I bought the kids cereal. And that's because they don't, it goes, it goes bad. It goes to waste. So I got them, um, I also got some corn. I got the 25 pound bag of sugar. Um, I also got Lando Lake's um, unsalted butter. That's what I prefer. It tastes better. <laughs> I got two things of these Prego sauces. I also got three of the ketchup. I got Three of these boxes of the Chef RD with the variety it comes with like the, the raviolis and the spaghettios. I got three boxes of mac and cheese cups, and then and then I also got a box of top ramen noodles. So that's the grocery haul, and this is gonna last us. Some of it will last us a little bit longer, and some of it is only gonna last about a week. And then I'll let you guys know how much I spent. This is how much I spent. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist, there's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame It's the next day and so I am about to fold all these clothes behind me and that and work on some homework because it's Sunday so a lot of my assignments are due today and if you guys are wondering Leon's right here he has a persuasive speech that he has to do so he won't be stuck there too working on that the kids are downstairs watching TV and eating um, I made sausage and gravy for breakfast some of the kids ate um, scrambled eggs or an omelet because that's what they wanted but I made sausage and gravy for breakfast um, so yeah that's pretty much what the rest of the day is going to be like um, so I hope you guys enjoy they're feeding the fears and the doubts ooh but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame we own the game and we ride on the flames till the morning Dude, I don't know. She's been hearing me listen to it so many times. Did he sound aggressive in the speech? Mm -hmm. Just 
to what white dudes say. See, the first like five websites I went to to describe the speech were white people. Then I had to go. I found this is a, from a black website because when Obama was in office, he did the 50 year anniversary. They had both the kids up there, and they redid it. They're not, they're not saying he was aggressive and shit. I'm like, I mean, that's how I knew it was white people. I was listening to their recounts of the speech. Right. But everybody perceives it differently. Like, don't you understand? Like, when because with speech class, they break it down with like how people can perceive it and how you can go about, you know, persu persuading people. But it's like you kind of understand now, like how it works. It's weird, and when you if you do decide to do rhetorical theory, it's even more in depth. Like it's more in depth than what the speech class has, because it's kind of like intertwined with each other. Something like that, they'll have me take it to university. Yeah, most I likely. Get, I got it right. If you were doing communication, yeah, but you'll probably have to take it in. Uh, University though. I should listen to this. I Would you rather me watch this or listen to uh music? It depends on who you listen to. It's a mixture. It's like uh yeah, some of them bitches be off about a lot of music. It's like a it's a playlist. Well, no, they want to fold, but they want to steal. That's why we had to step in. They want to steal socks and shit. Drawers and shirts. Giving us journey socks. Got 
gotta think about you We gotta think for each other So don't go wasting what you feeling Don't be dumb, be dumb, be dumb Don't be dumb, be dumb, be dumb The body of the paper is already. I did that yesterday. The body was just. I, I told I told you I didn't use I didn't use logos, pathos, and those three. I went and found like I, I found an antithesis. I found an inner four and an epistrophe. No, that's what I that's what I, know, I put. But in my, you don't have to use what they teach Well, I read the I read the thing. You don't have to use those because there's a million rhetorical devices. Just the yeah. logos, the pathos. That's Aristotle's. That's the that's the basic way you can yeah. do it. But they've made so many more. Just most oh, people just pick those. If I was doing a song, yeah. When you're doing a song or an ad, yeah, the locals. But when you're doing a speech, it's like yeah. Yeah, it's like, like I don't think I I did pathos, ethos, or logos either. I don't think I used any of those either. I, that's why when you asked me, I was like, I don't think I used any of those either. Because I didn't like those. I was like, everybody was using that shit. Thank you. I remember learning. I remember learning this. This is English tenth grade. Though. Like, I remember some of this. Is the mustard okay? Let's do this step three. They didn't break it, didn't break it down. I don't know. It was different. She just basically teaching you how to write a speech. I don't think they were breaking it down like that. Because I would, I, my, my English teacher was the leader of our forensic speech club, our debate team. What, that's enough. 